I think it's important to acknowledge the different ways that people react to trauma and events worldwide. I'm noticing an uncomfortable narrative these days of people dictating to others what they should be posting, what they should be doing. And I don't think that's right because everybody has their own purpose. Everybody reacts to things in their own way. Um, for example, people say, why are you not posting about certain world events? Well, if we talk about what's going on in Israel and Palestine, then we're going to have to talk about what's going on in Sudan and what's going on in the Congo, um, in Papua New Guinea, Haiti, you know, child trafficking. And where does it stop? There's always something going on all the time around the world. So the way that I personally choose to show up is through my healing work. One of the things that I've really been adamant on is the fact that we need to cleanse and heal our inner selves because that is what is being reflected on the outer scale. So this is something that I can do. This is something that I use the platform to do to help others. Last month, our healing session took place on the same day as the eclipse. So I was like, fantastic. Let's make this session free so we can utilize this energy to clear all the trauma that exists within ourselves. So that can also play out on the wider scale. That's how I choose to show up. This is how I choose to contribute to the masses. Some people may choose to share content. Some people may wanna protest. Some people may wanna fundraise. Whatever people do, that should be fine and that should be respected. And I feel like a lot more compassion and empathy needs to be had around this conversation because for me, as an empath, there's certain things that I don't feel comfortable sharing and I don't feel like I should be ridiculed or shamed for that.